The life of an independent filmmaker is hardly all Soderbergh in sales. Even with the boom of independent films, there's never enough money to go around. Everyone needs a break. Everyone's calling in favors. Everyone's starving. Everyone's making their movie. Why do you do what you do? What is your goal? What do you hope to accomplish? You know, originally I was supposed to meet some brilliant director. Clearly that hasn't happened. I really like your shirt. Thanks. My mother got it for me. You're telling me either every fucking take either sounds like crap or is completely non-existent. No. Actually, not every take. So, uh... What are we listening to now? Your room tone. I'm just saying, you need to have more of a life than just sitting in front of a computer 24-7. What do you mean I don't have a life? We're having dinner, aren't we? Because you're digitizing your next project. What do you think about a jump cut here? Jump cut? What exactly are you thinking? Martin, Martin Scorsese did it with Robert, Robert, Robert De Niro and Taxi, Taxi Driver. Only because he had to. I think it works here. I will admit my life is not perfect. But I like it. Look, I'm doing what I love. I'm being paid to edit. So I was thinking maybe there's another way we could settle our child. Really? What'd you have in mind? Free tattoos. You know, sex. Check it out. Next time you're in Chatsworth, you can park for free. Great. Now oh, this is gonna come in really handy when I finally succumb to the world of porn. Yeah, the life of an independent filmmaker is hardly all Soderbergh and sales. In reality, it's more Ed Wood than anything. By the way, can I get this finished by the next week or so? I want to submit it to Sundance.